Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the Roy Nick's Games, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to run Minecraft 1.7.10 with no lag. Now, this tutorial does use Optifine, however, I am going to give you some other tips besides what Optifine offers at the beginning. However, to install Optifine, you need to check out my tutorial. Go to the first thing in the description to do that, as well as the annotation in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen will take you there, and there's an annotation at the end of this video that will take you to my Optifine installation tutorial. So check out that if you need to install Optifine, because this video does use it. Anyway, what about tips other than what Optifine offers? Well, that's very, very simple. We need to start out in the Minecraft launcher to start with these. Hit, go to the profile you want to play, and then hit edit profile. Now, we need to go down here to JVM arguments, or Java arguments. What this is, is how much RAM is allocated for Minecraft. That's what we're going to do. We're going to give Minecraft more RAM to use. Now, I would recommend 2 gigabytes of RAM for stock Minecraft right here, so you can copy this in the description and paste it in uh, Java arguments here. However, we do need to see how much RAM your PC actually has before we commit to two gigabytes. So to do this, go up here to your start menu, go to control panel, and then go to system security. Then you want to go to system, and it will open up this. This will show you right here how much usable RAM your computer has. That needs to be at least four gigabytes for it to work properly. So you need four gigabytes of usable RAM here before you can have two gigabytes of RAM allotted to Minecraft. Assuming you have two, four gigabytes of RAM, we can move on. However, if you don't, you need to buy probably 1.5 gigabytes there. So you would simply type 1.5 instead of two. However, you can find that little argument in the description of this video as well as um, you know other stuff that will help you out. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and hit save profile and launch up our Optifine profile which actually isn't selected. So let me select that real quick. I apologize. And we can play Minecraft with Optifine. Once you have Minecraft open with Optifine in it, you can go into Options and Video Settings. Now, this is where we need to start working on stuff. We're going to walk through everything individually, so let's go. First off, on Graphics, we want this to be fast. We want Render Distance to be tiny. We want Smooth Lighting to, guess what, be off. And we want Smooth Lighting Level to also be off. Frame rate, I recommend going all the way up to unlimited here because that doesn't limit your frame rate. However, if you are having lag spikes, try limiting the frame rate at 30 FPS and uh, seeing how that works for you. For me, I'm going to go unlimited. Moving on to view bobbing, doesn't matter. Leave it on, leave it off, whatever you want to do. GUI scale, same thing. Advanced OpenGL needs to be set on fast. Brightness doesn't affect performance at all. Chunk loading, this needs to be, depending on what we see in the system settings, either multi-core or smooth. For me, it needs to be multi-core. How do you, can you tell what it needs to be for you? Well, simple. Go back to this Windows button, Control Panel, System and Security, and System, exactly where we were before. Now you can see your Intel Core processor or your AMD. AMD processor. Unfortunately, I have no experience with AMD processors, so you will have to do some independent Googling to figure out if your processor is multi-core. However, if you have a Core 2 Duo, a Core i3, Core i5, or Core i7 processor, they are all multi-core. If you're on AMD, again, I apologize. Just take whatever you see right here and Google it uh, and see if it's multi-core. You should be able to figure that out pretty easily. Nevertheless, once you've got that, you can see that I need to be on multi-core, and that's where I'm going to stay. Fog needs to be off. Fog start doesn't matter because we took turn fogged off, 3D anaglyphics off, quality. Here we go, Optifine specific settings. Mini maps don't really matter because I'm not using them. Anthroscopic filtering needs to be off. If you turn this on, it will lag the crap out of your game. Anti-aliasing, that needs to be off as well. Clear water off, random mobs off, better grass off, off, custom fonts off, custom colors, guess what? That needs to be off. Swamp colors off, smooth biomes off, connected textures off, natural textures off, custom sky off, done. Details, this all needs to be on fast, right or it needs to be off it's one of the two you can just kind of copy these as I go down through them real quick but as you can see fast 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 off 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 fast fast I mean it's pretty easy just copy those in your Minecraft game and you'll be good to go go and hit done move on to animations this is the easiest one this is the easiest I swear this is the easiest one to do simply go down here to all off and click it and then hit done. You're good to go. Moving over to performance now. Smooth FPS needs to be on. Smooth world needs to be on. Load far. Turn that off. If you turn on load far, it will lag the crap out of your game. Preloaded chunks. That needs to be on. Chunk updates one. That's fine. They really, you don't need to turn that up because the more that is, the more you're going to lag. Dynamic updates. That needs to be on. Fast math needs to be on, lazy chunk loading needs to be on, and fast rendering needs to be on. 
we can go ahead and hit done and move on to the last part of setting up Optifine. That's going to be other, and uh, pretty much this all needs to be how it is here. And uh, I want to talk about auto saving real quick. What auto saving is is obviously how often Minecraft saves your game. In default Minecraft, that's going to be every two seconds. That's going to lag like crazy. However, uh, you can change it with Optifine all the way up to 30 minutes. I, however, would recommend not doing 30 minutes because every 30 minutes means you could lose up to 30 minutes of work in Minecraft. If your power was to go out, your computer was to die or something like that, it'd all be gone. So I recommend three minutes because three minutes of work in Minecraft isn't that hard to make up and you can do that easily. So I recommend setting auto save to three minutes. Once you've got all of this set up, going and testing Optifine is very, very easy. We can go into single player and we can go into Crisis Craft, which is my world, and hit F3. Then as you can see up here in the top right hand corner my FPS is climbing up and up and up and uh, it'll probably stabilize about a hundred and um, you know there it is about a hundred it's stabilizing and uh, yeah that's how you can play Minecraft 1.7.10 with absolutely no lag drop down to 60 as it's loading new frames anyway I do want to mention one thing I was having some troubles with other one earlier and I wanted to mention for those of you who might also have this if for some reason your whole entire screen's gray and you can't do anything it's going to scare you that's fine how do you fix that simply hit Hit enter, all right, go to the settings, go to options, and then adjust your FOV. That is why I did that. Some of you might have caught it whenever I joined into this game. I immediately adjusted my FOV so as to not have that issue happen. So if that happens, adjust your FOV there and you'll be good to go. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you please give it a thumbs up, it really does help me out. I'm Nix Games and I am out. Peace. Subscribe if this video helped you out. It means a lot to me, and guess what? I post awesome Minecraft videos every single day of the week that you're absolutely going to love, so stick around for that. Anyway, guys, again, I'm Nick's Game. Sorry for the double outro, and I am out. Peace. And here's some videos you guys probably want to go check out. On the left is how to set up Optifine. You just installed Optifine, but what about doing all the different Optifine settings? What does it all mean? Go check out that video to figure all of that out, as well as get some additional tips on setting up Optifine with no lag. I'm going to give you some tips that don't even involve Optifine to find in that video so go check it out it's worth watching so you can stop lagging in minecraft and on the right is how to install forge in minecraft 1.7.10 you've got optifine installed but what about forge the forge mod loader go check out that video to figure out how to install forge in minecraft 1.7.10 also check out my daily vlogs the bomb center for screen to see what i'm up to every single day of my life anyway guys i'm nix games and i'm out peace